Hello, my name is Stefan Geisler, and I'm a gynecologic oncologist at Penn Medicine and the Basser Center for BRCA. Homologous recombination deficiency, or HRD for short, relates to a cell's ability to repair DNA damage. If a tumor is positive for HRD, the cancer cells are unable to repair certain types of DNA damage, which makes them vulnerable to specific types of treatment. In the treatment of ovarian cancer, we test cells for HRD to help guide our treatment choices after chemotherapy. The BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes are involved in homologous recombination DNA repair, and so mutations in either gene, by definition, lead to HRD. In these cases, most patients will benefit from being on a PARP inhibitor, like Olaparib or Niraparib, and we don't necessarily need to test for HRD in those cases. For patients who do not have one of these known mutations in BRCA, HRD testing can be useful to help identify patients that may see a benefit from a PARP inhibitor. Recent studies have shown that PARP inhibitors can help maintain remission for longer periods of time, especially when either HRD or BRCA mutations are present. Conversely, when there is no HRD or the tumor is homologous recombination proficient, the impact of PARP inhibitor therapy is likely to be small. Therefore, knowing whether or not a tumor is HRD can help guide the decision to start a PARP inhibitor. Since, like all medications, PARP inhibitors can have significant side effects, the decision to start PARP inhibitor therapy should be made after discussion of the potential risks and benefits. In total, as many as 30% of ovarian cancers will have HRD, while another 10 to 15% will have BRCA mutations. Altogether, making PARP inhibitors an excellent option for a large number of patients with ovarian cancer.